So you guys know, um, I had my daughter Clara seven months ago. I've lost 60 pounds so far from that pregnancy. And I continue to work on reaching my goals, lose the fat, burn, build the muscle, and get in the best shape of my life. Now, I lost a lot of weight really quickly. Like, I lost like over, like probably I think it was like 50 pounds within four months, something like that. And so I dropped a lot of it real fast. And then I've been continually getting to the rest of the goal, right? Um, I want to lose another 15 to 20 pounds. And I just created a video all about clean keto and what I've done to just recently lose five pounds in four days, just changing around the way I'm structuring the foods that I'm eating with keto. And I'll pop that little video link right up here so you can check that out if you missed that. But so <laughs> I lost a lot, right? What happens when you lose a lot of weight? You end up with loose skin, but not only loose skin, from pregnancy, I had like a huge pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like that, you know, like my, and this was my third. So I've, I've had three gigantic babies where, um, I gained a lot, like they weren't huge, but I was, you know? And so I gained a lot with those pregnancies. And so what happens to your body, you guys, if you're moms, if you've had kids, maybe you can relate to this, but sometimes the muscles, um, in your abs, like end up like this. So and there's no way you can train those muscles back together. And I don't care what you guys or who you think or who's told you that you can. I've actually had a consultation, talked to a doctor. The doctor literally told me there is absolutely no humanly physical possible way that you can train your muscles to go from this to back to being like this. You have to surgically have them stitched together. So the rumors are true. I am, um, I've scheduled a tummy tuck, a full tummy tuck coming up in November 19th is my surgery date. So I found an amazing doctor here in Ponte Vedra Beach, one of the best. And you know, we went through a consultation and I'm like, uh, this is my last baby, so I don't plan to have any more kids. Like, not only do I not plan to, I had my tubes tied, so there was absolutely no more kids coming into the picture. And so it's like, this is my time to focus on me and like everything, I've, I've done everything for everyone else, you know, everything for them and which is the way it should be as a mom. But I think it's also really important to do what's right for you and I'm, it's uncomfortable for me to have the extra skin. So it's like you can't wear specific types of clothes because there's that skin. And the muscles, you know, are always gonna kind of naturally push out, which it, it's okay. Like it's something that can be changed, can be fixed. So I'm so grateful, so thankful to be in a place to be able to do this and to have the support of my husband and, and just, I wanna to talk to you guys about it and tell you that it's coming and I wanna share my journey with you guys so you can be a part of it with me and see the results, see the before, see the afters and to kind of go through that. And I do plan to create like an entire vlog about the whole C-section, or not C-section. Yes, I had C-section, so I had the three. So this is not my first abdominal surgery, but I'm talking about the tummy tuck. So I'm gonna have that here so that if it's something that you've thought about or like, you're wondering if maybe it's something you might consider. I feel like it would be entertaining for you and interesting for you to see my own journey and experience. So if you guys would like me to do that, pop an emoji below or something. Just let me know that it's something that you would be interested in watching. And if you've ever thought about getting a tummy tuck or if you have one, if you've had a tummy tuck, you have any tips for me? Or if you just your own overall experience, do you love it? Do you hate it? How, how has it been for you? I would love to hear that too in the comments. So, you know, you can give me a little bit of advice there. I'm like, so excited about it. But here's the thing, this is 10 weeks from now, like nine and a half weeks from now. So I want to lose this additional 15, 20 pounds by that surgery date. Like I'm not going in there looking for, this isn't weight loss surgery. You know, this is not weight loss surgery. This is to get rid of the skin, to kind of, to just tighten everything up. So then from there I can continue on to becoming my best self and all of that. So um, I want to get to the point where I'm like at my happy place when I have this surgery. And for me, that's about 15 pounds from now. So I'm um, like 
totally overdrive committing to my goals. I'm working out every night because it's, for me, I feel like it just burns more than working out in the morning, even though I know there have been, you know, with fasted studies, working out fasted and all that, and I've done it. But for me, I was working out in the morning and I need to make a change. So I started working out at night and my previous transformations, I was working out at night doing these cardio, cardio for like 25 minutes. And I feel like the foods that you eat during the day, when you work out before you go to bed, you just burnt off a ton. Like, so I, I work out after my last meal. I just work out right around 8.30 or 9 p.m. Get my workout in. I have a little designated area in my gym and then I burn it. I burn it all night long. And so, yeah, you know, just like that Usher song, you know, that, that's what it's like. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so I'm really excited about this and some cool things. So from my consultation, they said that they no longer put in drains. So I'm not gonna be walking around with like a bag of, of like drain fluid. I'm really looking forward to that. The other thing is they keep your belly button. So they like cut around it and like pull the skin down. So it's your actual natural belly button. And actually the reason I found this doctor to begin with is because I really liked how the belly buttons looked. Cause if you guys ever look at that, like different before and afters of tummy tucks, the belly button can sometimes look weird. Like just, it looks off. Right. And so I saw his before and afters and I'm like, all of these belly buttons look so natural. Like, how did he do that? And come to find out, they don't re like recreate a belly button. They use your actual belly button. So I thought that was like really cool. That's new. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to this journey and this part of this. If you guys wanna check out what I've been doing to kind of push myself to lose the last 15 pounds, my last video that I just uploaded, I'll put the little card here. And if you wanna follow this journey and you are working on your own health and fitness goals, you might wanna consider subscribing here because I'm, I have tons of tips and tricks to help you get the best results, but also to just share my journey here. So. Hit that subscribe button, like this, check out my other video to see what the heck I'm doing and also follow me over there on Instagram because on Instagram, I, um, I'm more present there on a day-to-day -day basis versus over here on YouTube where I have a new video coming up like weekly, sometimes multiple times a week. So thanks guys for watching this one. Take care.